prices starting at $24.99. Every order over $40 gets free shipping. Look at these amazing graphics. Got multiple colors available. It's amazing. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So you want to have renders that look rather elegant and crispy. I will show you how today. First thing you'll need is some very clean and precise meshes with good geometry. Matter of fact, great geometry. So if you do not have that, please click off the video and come back. However, if you're still on the video, let's get right into it. So I'm here in Blender 3.5.1. We have two very stancy cars in here. They look okay. <laughs> but the first thing we're gonna need to do to get this amazing, elegant car rendering setup is to go into our render properties right here. You're gonna wanna set your render engine as cycles with your device as GPU compute. Pretty much everything else is defaulted except for the viewport samples, which I set to 250 just so it doesn't keep going forever. And the render sampling, I have the max samples at 333. This is a crucial key here because I have two vehicles in here, so I want to lower that number a little bit just to speed up the process because the environment is technically so much bigger, has to render a lot more. I have denoise ticked on, noise threshold 0 0.01. So the next thing you'll need to do is go to Output Properties, set your resolution. You can render up to 4K if you want to do samples up from 250 to 500. That'll work out pretty well. In my instance, I'm just doing 1080p. It's quite effective. You could change the frame rate if you're doing an animation. This one's still image, so I don't need to do that. I have the file format as JPEG, quality at 100%. You're gonna want to add a camera right here. You know, in a very artistic position. And then in the scene properties, make sure you have that selected. Go into the camera. I have my focal length set at 35 millimeters. And then I ticked on safe areas and I lined up my safe areas around the vehicles so that everything is centered. I can adjust my camera accordingly around these safe areas. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is set up the backdrop. You're gonna wanna add a cylinder in here. Just scale this thing up, make it huge. Shrink it a little bit. Now I'm gonna click the Y viewpoint preset so that I can look at this from a straight angle and line up these vehicles ever so slightly to the floor, the very bottom on this. So I'm gonna allow there to be just a little bit of clipping because the angle of the camera, it'll look so much better this way in my instance. In your instance, you're probably gonna want it to be a little bit less clipped off that is how I'm doing it. So that's perfect right there for me. I have my cylinder here. Next thing I'm gonna wanna do is tab into edit mode and go ahead and delete this top by drag selecting all these top vertices. Clicking delete and deleting only faces. Now what you'll wanna do is drag select these bottom vertices. Right click and split now what you need to do is go to Object, Shade Smooth. Next step is you need to make the material for the backdrop. So I'm going to make a new material, and I'm going to change the color to black. You can use any color you want, however I'm using this color. Now specular, you can leave that the same. I changed the metallic to 1. Roughness, I'm going to put it 0.27. Sheen. Put that at 0.5 and then 
everything else I'm going to leave the same. Next thing that we will be doing is making a light source. What you're going to want to do is shift A, get another cylinder. What I'm going to do is shrink this just a little bit more. You're going to want to make this smaller than the backdrop. You don't ever want this to be bigger than the backdrop um, because the light won't pass through it. So next, after I've scaled this accordingly to how I want and you've done the same, you're going to want to tab into edit mode like I have. You're going to want to drag select these top vertices, right click, and split again. You want to pull it up ever so slightly and just shrink it a little bit. Next, tab out of edit mode, go to object, shade smooth, and then you're going to want to come in here and make a new material. You can name it however you'd like. Usually I name it with a one, I'll put like lighting, just so I can find it. It'll be the first thing that shows up. Delete the principal PSDF, click shift A, search, mix shader, add a mix shader. You're going to want to shift A and add a gradient texture. Right there, boom. You're going to want to add a mapping node. Then you're going to want to add a texture coordinate. And then you're going to want to add an emission shader. A transparent BSDF here. So you can take the greens, put them right here, green to green. So transparent BSDF and emission go onto the mix shader. The mix shader shader part goes into surface on your material output. The gradient texture color goes into the factor on the mix shader. Yeah, right like that vector to vector on the mapping node and the gradient texture and then the generated goes into the vector on the mapping node. So the next thing I'll need to do is go to your material properties, settings, change your blend mode to alpha blend and your shadow mode to alpha hashed. So now it allows the transparent BSDF to work properly. Object properties, visibility, ray visibility, and click camera. So perfect, now you have lighting inside your render and it looks great. So, what you can do to adjust this lighting is to bring this lighting source up and down accordingly if you want more or less light but it's going to be perfectly circular around your object slash car so you'll get even lighting from every angle it's perfect this is has to be the best method it's always going to look uh, spectacular and extremely pretty can't beat it like we'll go ahead and start a render real quick if it'll load okay yeah perfect looks amazing and again I'm using a GTX 970 um, a little bit behind the times so to say by today's standards would definitely recommend using something more powerful but that's how we mob it today anyways that's the video if you like the video give it a like if you have any questions, slam them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer all of them. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. Uh, brother man over here would like to get monetized on YouTube. You know how it is. So if you just click that little subscribe button, it'll help out. And, uh, and I'll help you by making more videos. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. Have a good one.